Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is on this blue glittery smoky eye. I think this look would be really cool to do on 4th of July because it's like the perfect day to do it and it's not something where it's like too crazy. Like if people will see you with this on, they'll be like, oh, I totally get it, I understand. But I just wanted to give you guys something a little bit different. Um, and it's a little bit different for me too, but it's very eye-catching, it's like a wow. If you are interested in seeing how I got this look, then just keep on watching. I already primed my lids. I used the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I set them with this shade right here in the Tartlet and Bloom palette. So I'm gonna use the Tartlet and Bloom for most of this. So I'm gonna go in with a fluffy crease brush and I'm gonna use Smarty Pants and just take that right in the crease. I'm using a Sigma E40 blending brush. Now I'm gonna go in with Rebel, which is down here. I'm using a slightly smaller crease brush. I am going to go in now with Leader. Um, just on the outer corner, maybe a little bit in the crease, and yeah. So now that we have that done, this is when we do the blue. So I use two different products to get this look. I first start with the NYX Pigments. This is in, what is this in? It's in Constellation. So I first start with this and then at the end I'll add this NYX Glitter and it's pretty much the same color and this is just in NYX, it's just in the shade blue. So first let's do the pigment. I'm gonna put a little bit of glitter glue down. I'm just using the NYX Glitter Glue. Just so you guys know, this gets really messy, so just, just know that it's gonna happen. So that's kinda what it looks like right now. I'm gonna do the other side. The pigment does not have to be perfect by any means, so don't really worry about that. Now I'm gonna go in with more glitter glue on top of that for the actual glitter, and this is kind of when the look comes together. So that is what it looks like and I'm gonna add some darker colors to the outer crease again and it's just kind of a process to blend, 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 blend. I let it dry a little bit after I put the glitter glue on. I want to show you guys that I added more black out here. I used a, what brush did I use? I used this little Sephora precision brush and I did some of the black in the Tartlet palette. So, sorry, my camera cut out. That's why I'm telling you guys this and not showing you. Um, but I used Activist and Smoke Show to do the outer corner. But I think that it blends everything together a little bit better. And then I also took um, on a flat, just regular brush, I took this white shade and I put it right underneath my brow and I brought it down kind of a little bit. Let me show you how I did it. I took a little bit and I went like this. And then I kind of brought it down like that. So it would kind of look, because I blended it up a little bit higher than I wanted to. So I used that really light shade almost as like a, an eraser. Um, I know it looks really crazy right now, but once I take the tape off, which I'm about to do, 
um, put lashes on, it looks a lot better. Or I have gone into this shade probably like 10 times now, this Smarty Pants shade. And I just keep blending and I'm blending and I'm blending. So I'm at the point where I like how it looks. I'm gonna take the tape off. I love tape, oh my God. And there's some right there, that's fine. I just use a wipe and I'm telling you guys, do your eyeshadow first. Even if you don't like to do it that way, I recommend it just because this is like the most fallout you'll ever get and you can just kind of be sloppier with this. So I am gonna put some lashes on and I will be right back. So that is what it looks like with the lashes on. I mean, it's beyond dramatic, but that's okay. Honestly, I think it'll come together even more when I have um, foundation on. So I am gonna use the Smashbox. This is the Photo Finish Primer. I love this. I didn't know Smashbox is now cruelty free, so I don't know why, why none of you guys told me, <laughs> but it's cruelty free now. I found out the other day, so I went out and got this right away because this is like, this is my all time favorite primer. I don't care if there's dupes out there. I want to use this one. To me, there's nothing else that's as good. I really think that it helps me keep my foundation on and it makes it last a lot longer. Um, and I also feel like it creates like a nice barrier between my actual skin and my foundation. So nothing kind of seeks, seeps in and gives me breakouts. Like that's what I like about it. Let me give you guys a little bit of a tip, a little bit of a secret, I guess. This is like my number one favorite thing to do. Get this same primer, the Smashbox Photo Finish, and then use a pore minimizing primer on top of it. Oh my god, it is, like you will not have a smoother base, a more perfect base. I'm telling you, you have to try it. It's like the best combination. Mm -hmm. I just self tanned. I don't really have a ton of stuff to match me, so I know some of you guys are like, and eh, you're not using the right foundation, blah, blah. It's like, okay, well, I don't have every single color foundation. I'm not like on that level. So um, I'm gonna use the Milani Conceal and Perfect. This is in, number five warm beige so it's really dark um but i am going to use concealer so it shouldn't be that bad hopefully okay i realized the foundation's a little bit more warm than the rest of my body hopefully it like dies down i don't know <laughs> I'm gonna use the Milani concealer, which I really have been liking lately. So, yep. I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit and then I'm also going to contour my nose and I will be right back because I don't really like to contour my nose on camera for whatever reason, it just takes too long. <laughs> now that that's all blended and I think it looks pretty decent, uh, I'm gonna use some of this NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. I don't know, I just wanna try it. So we're gonna try a little bit. It's a little bit of a subtle glow, but I feel like I can see a little bit. So anyway, I gotta experiment with that more. Next, let's bake under my eyes because I want to. Um, recently, I've been using a brush to set my under eye instead of a beauty blender because I feel like it clogs my beauty blender up and it makes everything just really dry. So like when I used to use this, I would try to like bake with it and then I would like reuse it. And then I noticed that my under eyes were kind of dry. So I've switched to a brush and I just bought this Real Techniques brush. It comes in like the face set or whatever. I'm very excited about it and I really like it. So. That's what I've been doing. I set my concealer now with that. So I'm just taking some RCMA powder. While that's baking, I am going to take the Fiona Styles eyebrow pencil and this is their Micro Precision Brow Sculpting Pencil in warm brown. Now that we have the brows on, I'm going to kind of just lightly set the rest of my face. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury. This is their airbrush finish powder. Um, to be honest, it doesn't have a ton of color, but it does. It's super fine and <laughs> super fine. And it really just 
sets everything really nicely. Now that we're looking pretty good, I am going to use the contour shade right here with a NARS Eda brush. That contour is just so good. I love it. Definitely a high-end product that you guys just need to have. And they have one in a darker shade too. So if you're deeper skin tone, um, she's got one for you. But I just, this is like probably my favorite, one of my favorite makeup products of 2017, to be honest. So moving right along, I'm going to use this It's Brush, It's Cosmetics Brush from Ulta. And it is a bronzer brush. I'm gonna use it with the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. This has been my jam lately. A lot of you guys have been asking me what bronzer I'm wearing. It's super good, um, but I definitely attribute a lot of it to this brush. It's worth it. All of the it Cosmetics brushes. Next, I'm going to take this number seven blush, and it's in it's in the shade Peach Velvet. I love this blush. I'm taking out a Real Techniques stippling brush. I'm just kind of a good technique for you guys is to use a stippling brush. It looks like this, and if there's a blush that's really pigmented, using a brush like this makes it look more natural and. Um, easier to use, it's easier to control it, and it does less product, but it disperses it really nicely. So, yeah. And then for highlighter, I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury highlight right here. This is my number one favorite highlighter, just so you guys know. <laughs> um, I just, wow. You guys know I like to take a little bit on my nose. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little bit up here, above my brow. All right, I am going to set my makeup now with the Milani Make It Last, the best drugstore setting spray. I just love it. I love the smell, I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna do this before I finish my eye makeup, just because, so. So to finish my eyes, I'm going to go back into this palette and take Smarty Pants on a little smudger brush. I'm gonna take Rebel with a little teeny little brush right here. And then I'm going to take Leader and Activist just on the outer corner out here. It's also probably a pretty good idea to hit your inner corner, um, your inner lash line, I mean, with some, like a nude colored eyeliner. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. And I'm gonna finish off with a tiny bit of bottom lash mascara, but not a lot. And grand finale, we're gonna do <laughs> lips, finally. And I'm gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in Pillow Talk, and then I'm going to use the Too Faced the lipstick in Nude Beach. All right guys, that is the finished look. I hope that you enjoyed it. It's a little bit more dramatic than I usually do, but I mean, it's 4th of July. When else can we wear something like this, you know? Um, I really love this nude lip with it, by the way. I think it looks really good. It's the perfect pairing, in my opinion, because it's a cool tone nude and it goes with like the really cool eye. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye!